This is Calvin Casta and it's running kind of late here on the September 2nd, 2003. We're at the Northeastern Clinton Central School Field for Junior Varsity play. This is tournament soccer. Northeastern Booster Club kickoff tournament. The team in green, the Northern Adirondack Bobcats and the team in white, the Peru Indians who defeated Northeastern in the first round. The Bobcats Got a bye to the championship round when Enosburg Falls backed out of the tourney. Refs are giving both teams the pregame instructions. Henry C. is the coach for the Peru Indians. And hometown Cable's loss is Northern Adirondacks gain. Bill Chase is the new junior varsity coach for Northern Adirondack. Scott Beebe and Rob Lapierre are the officials. I guess it's supposed to be some kind of big thrill for these kids to play under the lights. There's no prior game being played tonight. It's the only game scheduled tonight, and they schedule it at 7.30 instead of at 5.30 or 5 o'clock or a more reasonable hour. And the mosquitoes are ferocious this year. So we're going to be swatting mosquitoes and trying to do a little play-by-play -play on the Bobcats. We're not going to be doing the Indians because we're not going to show this game in Plattsburgh, but we'll try to learn the Bobcat names while we're here. Let's see. That was number four, Justin Perry. Now it gives way to... Let's see, number seven, Jim Jubert sends it down the field. Front line for Chance St. Germain. Jim Brunell throws it in. Jim Brunell again. If you haven't already done so, put a tape in the VCR, because this, of course, as we indicated but didn't actually say, is Bill Chase's coaching debut here. So <clears throat> This is a game you're going to want to keep. Five Lajoy, Zach Lajoy. Taken away by James Siskavich up to Brunel. Remember the words far post, Jim Brunell, if you're watching this. Handball. The Indians will put it back in play. Now we can't let the game go too far before we thank uh, Frank Dumas and Roxy and family for renewing their viewer support of Hometown Cable. They have been faithful supporters right from day one, and we appreciate their understanding that uh, the only time Hometown Cable gets paid is when a viewer decides that this is television worth supporting. Indians will get the shot, and T.J. Brunell will pick it up. Punt comes near midfield. Picked up by St. Germain. Picked away by the Indians. Gets by Le Bombard. Kicked through.
that was 21, that'd be Nate Rock. Back there on defense. I believe Coach uh, Chase told me he had only 13 players eligible tonight. Some late recruits and had their required practices. Rock unable to clear that. It's a corner kick for the Indians. And they score. Okay, it's only 34-23 in the clock, so we're less than six minutes into the game. The Indians have scored their first. Brunel comes wide. Brunel will throw it in. Do it again. Picked up by the Peru keeper. Ball gets by Hicks. Rock tries to move it up to Brunel. Goodbye, La Bombard. by Siskavich. Jubert, uh, Jim Jubert, had tripped. Uh, and uh, was uh, Hicks, I believe, getting him the ball originally. Perry. Three is Doug Alexander. Excuse the camera work. We're fighting off some mosquitoes. Free kick for Peru. Chance to score. Goal kick. Well, was Rapp trying to carry it out now. Kicked by Jubert. Back to the Bombard now. Hicks looking for uh, 16 St. Germain. Side called. Oh, 
Brunel. Uh, it'll be a white throw in. Uh, none of the Bobcats are particularly challenging here. Let's see, 20 is uh, Ben Boye. Last time we saw Ben, he was uh, umpiring. Uh, I think it was Pee Wee softball. Brunel with the punt. Indians put the shot in, stopped <laughs> by Rock. Lombard clears it out. The Lombard with the throw. Cleared out by Siskevich. Thrown in. Bombard rolls into Jubert. Through throw. Indian score, make it two nothing. Cats will kick off. They trail two nothing, twenty five, twenty four on the clock. Keeper grabs it. Quickly thrown in. Number 10 out there was Derek Jubert. Brunel. Again, mosquitoes, mosquitoes, mosquitoes. Oh boy, a little too polite that time. Play was stopped for an injured Peru player. You will be. I'll drive you down there. Like this. White throw. Brunel. Yeah. 
Brunel sticks with it. Oh, opportunity knocked. A swing and a miss there from Jim Jubert. He was right on net. Sent back in by Rock. Stays in play. Twenty-two thirty-three remaining in the first half. Right throw. Juberts, couple Brunels. Bounds, but uh, Peru controls.
several coaching changes at NAC this year. Don Moulton, no longer the varsity coach. He is retired and from coaching at least, not from teaching, but coaching. So Jerry Hamlin, a shot went to Brunel. Jerry Hamlin was uh, coached for several years. Uh, coached for several years and took a couple years off to watch his son play. Then uh, came back a couple years ago. Hamlin has moved up to the varsity and Bill Chase took over here at the JV level. John Rebidu has retired as basketball coach, varsity basketball coach. And I think there's another change or two in the coaching ranks. And folks will see those as the seasons progress. Alexander, the Bombard will throw the ball in. The Bombard trying to carry it, double teamed, he loses the ball. 14-47, left in the first half, 2 nothing. Peru leads. JV Tourney Championship game. Number 10, Derek Jubert. J Jim Jubert gets over. Now Alexander fighting for it. Shoots it on the side. Not as many bugs as there often is, but uh, the things flying around are mosquitoes. Usually it's some other bugs that are enjoying the lights, but uh, it's mosquitoes this year. And whoever's in charge of feeding them hasn't been doing their jobs, so they're, they're hungry. Schubert, or excuse me, Brunel. Brunel will take the corner kick. Off the head of Alexander, but a good try. The time and the goal kick here. Eleven oh seven left in the first half. Two nothing Indians. Into the crowd. Dented my car. Go, 
takes it. Called playing the man, not the ball. Brunel fell down on the kick. Perry will be taken away. Less than six minutes to go in the first half, two nothing to score. Alexander. Front line. And want to get a shot. E oh, over the top. A heck of a good try there. Nice stop by the keeper. Derek Jubert with the shot. It'll be a corner kick for the Cats. Remaining in the first half. 
broken up by Siskavich. White throw. Cats on the attack now. Brunel penetrates. Three minutes remaining in the half. Perry with a throw. Stop it. Three nothing Peru. Clock is not running. Clock's not running, Scott. Scott, no clock. I'm trying to alert Scott Beebe to the fact that we don't have a clock running here. It's been 2.03 since they scored. Now it's running. Goal kick. Green throw. Indians take it away. Sides. 12 seconds to go. Five seconds. First half score. The Peru Indians, three, Northern Adirondack, nothing. This championship game of the Northeastern Clinton Junior Varsity Tournament put on by the Booster Club. Action is underway. I uh, try to catch up on the expos. <laughs> Half time. They put 10 minutes on the clock, but I don't think they took the full 10 minutes. Peru leading 3 nothing. green throw. Thank you. 
Very challenging, takes the ball. Oh, I had the ball momentarily. <clears throat> sent up the field, now sent back by the Indians. By Jubert. There's a shot, a nice shot right on net. By Perry. No handball. Get the free kick over the top and in. Hit the corner of the goalpost and went in. Not a thing that Brunel could do about that. Uh, Rekick. Had a few opportunities. Perry fights his way in there. Let the Indians take it away. Direct kick. Throw the cats, rock, pushes it up to Brunel. Way, driven off the ball. 
Rock. Now, looking for a target. High punt, headed by the Indians. Taken away by uh, St. Germain. No, St. Germain was on the front line. That's uh, 18 uh, Hicks. Goal kick. White ball. And Brunel makes the stop. Green throw. Perry with the throw. Somebody's car alarm going off. Car alarms are uh, the most useless uh, invention ever made. They go off so often that nobody pays attention when they hear a car alarm. So what good is a car alarm? If somebody is breaking into your car, nobody's going to pay attention to it. Picked up by Brunel. 28 minutes remaining in the 4-0 game. Championship game of the Cougar Booster Club JV Boys Tournament. Carried by Brunel. Throwing in. John. 
Late throw. When I was going to get a shot. Corner kick. A little too strong. Get there first. Well, we're gonna fit six guys in your truck. Sends it up into the corner. Boye will give chase. Um, Brunel doesn't follow through here, he just sends it up and stays here. You gotta get into the play after he passes it. Might be uh, out of energy. Twenty-three fifteen remaining in the game. Four nothing. Peru leads. Got to use his team. The cats weren't spread out there. Got to play her down for the Indians. Twenty-two fifty-seven on the restart. <coughs> and once again, the clock's not running. Clock's not running, Rob. Rob, clock's not running. Now it is. They just just started it. There's a punt. This game is long enough without uh, not starting the clock here. I'm going to zoom in on the timekeepers here so we can let's see who to blame there. Let's see here. Let's get our digital zoom. Oh my gosh. Frank Dumas. Frank Dumas is in there. I think Hampton's keeping the clock though. I think Frank's keeping the book. to start uh, getting his teammates involved a little bit. Jeremy. 
Late ball. Indirect kick for the Cats. Brunel. Again, he's got to use his teammates. Got to use his teammates. Good hustle from uh, Lajway. Kept the ball in play. Nineteen twenty left. Green throw. Uh, picks up to Saint Germain. Indians take it away. White throw. You think I'm joking, Yeah, shot. Now picks it up. Under 17 minutes remaining in this 4 nothing game, championship game of the Cougar JV Tournament, Booster Club Tournament. Brunel for the Bobcats, he's tripped. He can score from here. It's uh, Jubert. There's Jubert on the net. <coughs> Keeper rolls it out. There's Brunel's punt.
Come the cats. Kyle. Kyle, how about you? For now, nope. That might be Mars. So, certainly a planet, and I assume it might be Mars, but uh, don't know that for sure. This last week it was the closest it's been to the Earth, and will be to the Earth for another 60,000 years. Or the closest it's been in 60,000 years. I think it won't be that long before it's that close again, but... Uh, Nobody hearing this will see it. <clears throat> Twelve forty five remaining. Four nothing Peru leads. So, Alexander, number three. Broken up by Alexander. White throw. Cleared out by Rock. There's a shot. It's going to be way over the top. This is Grinnell. TJ Brunel with the stop. Ten and a half to go. Brunel tries to pass it. Intercepted and the Indians bring it back into the Bobcat end. That was uh, Lajway kicking that one. And Brunel makes the stop. You can tell the Bobcats with very few subs are getting fatigued. Alexander sneaks in there, bumps the ball away. Here comes Brunel. He's got the Boye on the wing. Passes it to himself. He uses his wing, the wing can get it right back to him. St. Germain. Up for Jubert. Kicked by 15 Saskavich. That, uh, may have been Supley. I'm not sure if Supley's playing. 23. 
Well, comes to Brunel, eight minutes to go. Up to Jubert, he heads it. Brunel, Nico for the charge. White kick. Green throw. Cornell makes the stop. Ball gets by Boye. We wait throw. 6 11 remaining. What a run through the. NAC roster that we have here, Jim Brunell 2, Doug Alexander 3, Justin Perry 4, uh, Zach Lajoy 5, Jim Jubert 7, uh, Brandon LeBombard 9, Derek Jubert 10, White Charge, James Alexander is 12, this is 3, Doug Alexander, James Siscavich, 15, Chance St. Germain, 16, John Hicks, 18. Brunel, approaching five minutes. Ben Boye is 20, Nate Rock, 21, TJ Brunel is the goalie. James Supley Jr. is 23, and also in the lineup, is Josh Lajway who's uh, injured I guess. He was on the bench but uh, in street clothes. <laughs> Dangerous play. Indirect. Oh Alexander. Ball was kind of behind his, his body and he had to reach back for it. Just under four minutes remaining. White throw. Brunel, 325. Alexander will take the throw. The sub coming in. Three minutes to go. And the boy. White handball called. Oh, 
guys would be behind the Two minutes remaining. Brewers gonna get another shot. No, Brunel's there. He needs to stop. Green throw. Go. Only by Alexander looking for Boye. Thank you guys. You're going to get it. Hicks with a little push there. No call. And I got a, have a call against the Indians. 40 seconds remains. A dangerous play. Now puts a shot right to the keeper. 24 seconds. Ten seconds. Well, the final score will be Peru four, Northern Adirondack nothing. Been watching the JV Championship game from the Booster Club Tournament at Northeastern Clinton. September 2nd, day after Labor Day, 2003. Thanks for watching. And for those of you just like Frank Dumas and family who support Hometown Cable's ongoing efforts. Uh, thanks to those of you who are doing it. And uh, looks like Kieran Gilroy is going to present the trophy, but uh, we're out of here.